Squirrels. Love them or hate them, these rodents are among the most common mammals in North Carolina. Able to survive in the most pristinely preserved woodlands or harshly degraded urban sprawl. You probably see at least one of these little tree rats scurrying around if you so much as glance outside your window throughout the day, and might have already chalked them up as a boring backyard pest. While these definitely aren't the most interesting animals in the world, they actually have some pretty ridiculous adaptations and ecological significance that just might change your opinion of these fuzzy little critters. Easy to identify by their relatively small size, gray to brown fur, and bushy tail, eastern gray squirrels are a familiar sight throughout the majority of the eastern US. As small mammals, they have a very fast metabolism, and spend most of their waking hours foraging for high calorie foods to satisfy their energy demands. You probably know that these little guys absolutely love nuts and seeds for their high fat and protein content, but squirrels will also eat foods including mushrooms, fruit, bark, insects, and will even scavenge dead birds or other small animals if the opportunity presents itself. They have absolutely insane incisor teeth which are hard and sharp enough to crack even the toughest nuts, and will continue to grow indefinitely throughout the squirrel's life. Because of their abundance throughout the landscape, and the large amount of time that is spent out and about foraging for food, squirrels are a major food source for a huge variety of predators. Everything from snakes to raptors will make a meal out of an unsuspecting squirrel, so they have developed a variety of anti-predatory mechanisms and behaviors to try and avoid becoming someone else's entree. Using acute vision and hearing to detect potential dangers from a distance definitely helps to increase survival odds, and as soon as a threat is spotted by one individual, it will usually signal to other squirrels in the area by barking, whistling, and tail wagging that they need to take cover. Once the warning has been sent, anyone that saw the display is quick to run for cover in the treetops. With wrists that can rotate 180 degrees, hook-shaped claws to grip tree bark, and powerful back and abdominal muscles, squirrels are among the most skilled tree climbing mammals in North Carolina. Once they are in the canopy, they can launch themselves up to seven feet from branch to branch on their way to a preferred hiding spot. Few people know that these animals actually construct large nests using sticks, leaves, and other plant fibers. This provides them with a safe home base to return to in a time of danger, sleep in at night, and to raise their young in the early spring. Oh yeah, and did I mention that they are thought to be able to survive a fall from any conceivable height? By rotating their hips during descent, flattening their body, and using their bushy tail as an air brake, they can slow the speed of their fall dramatically before making impact. But just in case predictions are off, please don't try dropping a squirrel out of a plane or helicopter after watching this video. Squirrels are ecologically important not only as a food source for predators, but also as seed dispersers for many different species of tree that produce heavy and difficult to transport nuts. Pretty much year-round, squirrels collect and stash seeds underground for later consumption, sometimes harvesting and burying up to 25 nuts per hour. Amazingly, they can remember where they buried their treasure many months later with about 95% accuracy. The remaining 5% of the seeds have successfully been transported away from the parent tree and buried in the ground with fatty nutrient reserves intact, hopefully in a location where they can germinate and mature. So all things considered, squirrels are actually pretty unique little organisms that do play a critically important role in the food chain and forest renewal cycle. While I don't expect you to go start a squirrel fan club, I do hope that I've convinced you to look at these animals not as pests but as the impressively athletic arboreal mammals that they are. Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Eastern Gray Squirrel. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno, 
of the Wild Report, signing out.